Who are you? Morgan Sullivan, Vice President of Breaking Apathy, Science, and Exploration. Some call me Inferno if you want to get more dramatic. Yeah, of course. I remember you. Yeah, when you weren't quite yourself. You tried to out me to Fobble. Nice video, Glamo. You knew it was me? Yes, you were breaking, and I could see that you were still loyal to Pobble. But that half-breed fool couldn't. Where is he anyway? Dealing with those people you told Pobble to meet in the video. Couldn't be too careful. <sighs> I'm sorry. Don't be. You're loyal now. But I need you to prove it. How? Frank and Vicky spoke to a member of the Archive a while ago. Dispose of them. Of course. That's not a problem, is it? No, I... Listen here, little bunny. We're in the final stages of our plan, and we need your skills. You're vital to us getting into the next world. I know you and Vicky used to be lovers, but you're above all that. In the next world, you can have your pick of the litter, but until then, do what you're fucking told. Got yes. it? Yes, your grace. I'm a god, remember? Right. Kill them, but first try and find where Pavel is, okay? Yes. Who's she? She? She's the second forager. You get Pavel, we have all three. Then we can open the door. Holy shit, this is huge. Oh, we cannot afford this. Are you crazy? <laughs> You're okay, just take care of it. The blind man, all his resources and money. He wants his forger and best agent to be happy and safe, right? Yeah, that's true. I don't think he'd be too happy, but I'm sure we can convince him. This place is amazing. Bit too many rooms for us, don't you think? But I mean, that's the point, right? Sport in a nice place, we need have this big room, a nice sexy living room. These two rooms can be the uh, entertainment rooms or the guest rooms, who knows, we have friends. It's like a dream. We can make it real, Ava. Oh, it's out here! This is so nice! So, this is the house that you and Pal were going to get, right? Yeah, that was a long time ago, though. But how are you doing, though? As in, with all of this? Oh, great. I mean, for someone in my situation, that is. I just wish I could help. Everyone can help, but I'm instructed to take Paul to the archive. The blind man wants to see him ASAP. How? I'm not even allowed inside. 
secure place, I mean, he'll be safe there. I hope so. You never know these days, with the way Bates is taking over so much. Like Corbin? Yeah, Corbin. He was really cool, you know? He, he played a lot of games. He was really funny when we gave him the chance, and now he's killing people left and right. This is one of Paul's friends gone. Speaking of which, um, Frank and Vicky, did they know anything? Are they... No. They are perfectly normal. They know all this is real. I played them to see what they knew. Well, I'm just glad we don't have to worry about them anymore. But call Sigma Eric, though, and tell him to keep an eye on them. Of course. We need to talk about possibilities. If you are suggesting we talk about what to do with Pavel's done for, then just stop right now. But Ava... No, we don't plan until we know the facts. It's not a certainty. Don't make me mad for no reason, Kathleen. I know you love him. <laughs> you traveled between worlds to make sure he was safe. But above all, you are a member of the Archive. Yes, you are attached to seeing Nepal's safety, but you are too attached and you need to clear your head and- Kathleen, if any more words come out of your fucking mouth, I may kill you. Ava, listen. I need to take Pavel to the Archive now. You want to come see him? Please. Come on. Please, just Omega. I love you. It's gonna be okay. Thank you. I needed this. Now, tell me what you want. I mean, your deepest wish right now. I... I just wish that Pavel could start over, you know, have a clean slate and not be in this situation again. I mean, there are dozens of universes that need saving, and he can... and I... he needs to save everyone. That's my only wish for him, is that he can start over again. Granted, I promise Paul will get his Thank you, you're being really nice. Hey, it's my job, Ava. We're all in this together. Make sure you're safe, okay? Okay, now go on. I have to get going. Just still shaken up over what happened. What could have happened to Pavel? I don't trust Kathleen at all. I think she's one of them. You mean a fear? Yes, or something like that. Just the way she felt so beyond us, so creepy. And what was wrong with her hand? What? It was red, it wasn't like that before. I think you're being way too paranoid about it. Maybe it's a rash. Frank, our friend is missing, dead or in a coma. My boyfriend's murdering and killing people. Alright, we don't know that for sure if he killed Jack. I did. No! Shh. You spoke to an agent of the Archive. Scout Iota Kathleen? What'd you tell her? Corbin, I know nothing! I will not hesitate to kill you, Vicky. Look at Frank! We don't know anything! What kind of questions did she ask? She just wanted to know what we knew, where he was and who he was with. And what did you say? He told her he found Pavel and uploaded the footage of you two. And I took the Christian tape and converted it into an audio file. Do you know where Pavel is? No! Damn it, Vicky, tell me! Why are you doing this? It's my job. This is bigger than any of us. Anything! It's the game of gods we're playing. It's been going on for millennia. I just realized I could bring about the ultimate change. I can win it all. I could be the hero. And all you have to do is tell me where Pavel Hall is. Corbin, please. It doesn't have to be like this. We can be how we used to be. Remember? You and I, together. You don't have to be the hero. You are my hero. 
be with me. I love you. I need you, Logan. Thank you. Forget all this. Come with me. Please. You mean so much to me, but in the grand scheme, you're unimportant.